How's it going guys? The new Xbox One has finally been unveiled by Microsoft in their keynote a couple of days ago and in today's video I'm going to be telling you pretty much everything you need to know about the Xbox One, all the features, all the specs, pretty much every addition that got into this huge gaming and entertainment console. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to start off with a brand new Kinect. Microsoft unveiled the next generation Kinect 2.0 and it's coming with a great 1080p camera upgrading from a BGA camera. Skype connectivity is also available and the ability to track your controller as well. It was revealed at the event that the Kinect will now be able to track your muscle and skeleton moves accurately and will track your heartbeat as well. A new controller was also unveiled and I think Microsoft wanted to keep things very simple here and it really does look just like an overall improved 360 controller. Um, however, they are improving the ergonomics, adding a new integrated battery, uh, as well as a new D-pad and better response triggers to allow more interaction with the game. On the software side of things, there are not very many changes. The operating system will look very similar, but they are adding some exclusive features such as voice recognition, so you will be able to navigate across your entire system just by using your voice. Microsoft also tried to make this console more of a general entertainment console, so it does have the ability to watch TV, listen to music, and play games all in one place. And it is rumored that in the future, they will try to combine the Xbox operating system with some form of modified windows, which is pretty cool. Um, Xbox Live is also going to be improved with the addition of a whopping number of 300,000 servers, as well as the ability to record gameplay right on your screen. Now let's talk about hardware and specs. The Xbox One is indeed bigger and heavier than the Xbox 360, which is controversial because I think most people expected a smaller console but it is justified because inside of this there's quite a bit of power. The Xbox One will feature an 8-core CPU which Microsoft indicated that it will make it 8 times more powerful than the Xbox 360. It also has 8 gigabytes of RAM, 500 gigabytes of hard drive, Blu-ray and direct Wi-Fi capability, HDMI in and out, as well as a much faster USB 3.0. Some games have also been revealed for the Xbox One, the most promising one so far shown off at the keynote was Forza 5, an exclusive racing franchise with some intense and impressive graphics. EA also showed off their next line of games such as FIFA 14, Madden 25 and NBA 14, and Call of Duty Ghosts was also announced, set to release November 2013 with exclusive content for the brand new Xbox. And speaking of dates, the Xbox One is set to release later this year with the games I previously mentioned and it will include the Kinect 2.0 as well as a new improved controller. Even though the price wasn't revealed, I do expect it to be between $400 and $500 competing against a PlayStation 4 at around the same price. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'm really excited to get my hands on this console. Let me know in the comments down below if you're planning to buy this or the PlayStation 4. And also don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Technogonso or Twitter.com slash Technogonso. The links will be down below. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time.